Hi guys, I am Dr. Alexander and today we will talk about atropine and of course its side effects. So effects of atropine installation into normal eye include uh, pay attention in this question that condition is normal eye and you see the following as first uh, pointed are correct. Uh, paralysis of the sphincter pupilla muscle, paralysis of the ciliary muscle, and photophobia. As a result of of these two, uh, how about increased intraocular pressure? And in ophthalmos, they are false. Intraocular pressure is increased by atropine administration, just in case of uh, glaucoma. Normally, it doesn't affect. Uh, ocular intraocular pressure and in ophthalmos it's a special condition uh, found in uh, in patient with uh, congenital anomaly or acquired uh, what does mean uh, in ophthalmos it is a posterior displace displacement of the eyeball back and it is it can be a cause of a small eyeball or tissue uh, that is deposited posterior, posteriorly is uh, less than normal or any of the bone deformities that display uh, back the eyeball. Anomalies, uh, congenital anomalies that uh, result in uh, an ophthalmus are Horner syndrome, Marfan, Downey and sinus, silent sinus syndrome. Uh, other many facts, cycloplegia is the paralysis of the ciliary muscle and loss of eye accommodation. And um, many, many sources give different uh, information, but many of them give that atropine might reduce even a, a intraocular pressure or no significant changes in intraocular pressure. Also, you should know that atropine is um, is a drug uh, anti-cholinergic, uh, so it means that mimics uh, sympathetic drugs. So it, of course, will dilate the uh, sphincter pupilla. That's all. You also may access links that will be attached below. And if you like this video, you can subscribe, follow me and suggest any of the uh, conditions that can favor videos. Thank you very much and have a great time.